18 tooth mod 1.5 hardened steel penny gear with an 8 millimeter bore using the Easy Run Max 5 200 amp uh, controller hobby wing um, first hobby wing I've ever owned I can't say that it's going to be the best but it might be so got it all taken it apart this I bought I think it was from a DBLXE and I just thought hey it might work well here's what I found this mounts in here like this. I'm thinking that I can remove this one and then put this in because it fits. Uh, I have to press the bearing in there it looks like, but basically set it right there and I think it's going to fit perfect. Um, okay, so basically what I was telling you before, I need about 10 millimeters to be up from the bottom, or to raise this up to get it lined up. So, I went to Lowe's. You can go to Home Depot. I'm sure there's other places I have this too. McMaster Car, places like that. Um, I found this aluminum. Aluminum rod. I believe it said it was 1 8, 1 8 inch. Alright, here's the sticker. Let's read it. I hope it's focused on it. It's probably not. It's 1 8 by 3 quarter by 3 feet. So it's 3 quarter inches wide. 8 inches, 1 8 inch thick. And I'm going to have to use 3 of them. I wish they had had more choices, but they don't, and I can braise aluminum. I'll just weld it together and make one solid piece. Um, but, look at this. Check this out. Because it's awesome. This fits perfectly, because this piece is offset. But, when it's on here, it literally fits. It's okay, it's flush on that side. Flush on that side. So, perfect. I'll be able to cut me three pieces, be good to go. Alright, so I know a lot's happened. It looks like a lot's happened. However, uh, the aluminum bar that I picked, I told you it was an eighth inch. I actually ended up using, having to use four of them. It's hard to see in there. I braised and welded those together. Um, anyway, I mounted those to it, drilled my holes, and I also, I know it's hard to see, but I put one over there and one right there to hold it to the body. Uh, I trimmed this piece. It was bigger. Um, this was originally attached to it. I think it went something like that. I don't know. Yeah, it did actually. That's where it broke. Um, but I broke it off. Don't really need it. I reattached everything. Everything's good. Motor seems fine. Car is moving. Um, now the big change was the servo, the steering servo. It was originally right in this area where the motor is. Obviously, that didn't work. Now, I had two choices. Uh, I could have mounted this over here, but I didn't for some reason. Why didn't I do that? Oh, oh, I remember. With this particular motor, now other motors may be okay. Um, this particular motor, when I mounted this on this side, you know, I didn't have to move the servo that way because it was still right here. This motor wouldn't fit in between this piece and this steering arm. Uh, I mean, it fit, but it was like so tight it wouldn't do anything. So anyway, I put it right here. Uh, I haven't made any adjustments to the servo. I don't know where mechanical zero is, so I need to figure out that out before I tighten it down. I haven't tightened it down yet. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start mounting um, the ESC. Everything's good and tight now. One thing I did go back and do is on this particular model, I was playing with this out in the snow one day. It was seems fine, but these pins, I don't know if you can see that or not, uh, these pins that go, oh, it's so hard to work this on camera. That little silver pin near the tip of the screwdriver, there. Um, that pin tends to come out. I took those out. I um, Loctited the set screws in them, the grub screws, and hopefully they'll be okay this time. Now, I don't know. This is going to be a lot of torque on this car. This is a 960 kV motor. I got to look it online. It looks like the DBL X. DBXLE, which is the electric version, actually has an 800 kV motor. So, <coughs> excuse me, 
Um, I'm surprised to, see, to hear that. Um, I looked online, looked up its pinion size stuff. It's using a 12 or 13 tooth pinion. So this motor may, and pinion combination may be too big because this is an 18 tooth pinion. I'm going to see how it does. If it overheats, gets hot or anything, I'm going to you know, backtrack, put a 12 tooth pinion on it, and that should be okay. Because uh, it's a stock spur gear. I don't know what the spur gear size is in the DBL, DBXLE, so I'm using the one from the, the gas version. I hope it's okay. I know it's mod 1.5. Um, I'm hoping it'll have a pretty cool sound because I know Mod 1, you know, Red Cat uses a lot. They they have some good sound. This one should sound pretty cool. It kind of does. Okay, so I decided to mount my ESC over here. Uh, please excuse the wire nuts. This is temporary. I'm only going to actually order the correct pieces to hook in here. Um, ones that it's, the motor's got 8 gauge wire. The ESC had 10 gauge, so that, that was an issue. But Anyway, it's temporary. I just want to make sure it works because this motor was used off eBay. I checked underneath there. Yeah. And it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go slow first. Oh shit, steering way off. Is it? Yeah. Is that thing recording sound or no? He's voicing over it. Running good, actually. You really up yet? Oh God, Aaron! <laughs> <laughs> it's, <built to> <laughs> it's actually working good. It's only on 4S though, so it'll be double the speed. Of the Damn, and it's already quick. It's loud, ain't it? Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. It is. I just get the steering rod right off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I figured we'd have it off a little bit. <laughs> These chickens don't know what the hell to think. Yeah. I'm just going to make this one long video so you can just cut it and split it. Shit. Wow. Damn. No problem. Reverse sucks. Oh, does it? Oh. God bless. Oh, <laughs> that was sick.